Welcome back. I'm Brittany. I'm Miranda. And today we have a little postpartum. Oh, I, <laughs> I don't know if we should call it a workout. It's more rehabilitation. Um, Miranda is just over two weeks yes. postpartum. Um, so you saw a little Asher in our thumbnail there. And we're just going to be going through some exercises that you can do, but why don't you give a little bit more well, So just make sure like you have approval from your provider. Um, just to make sure like if you had any like major, gosh, I don't know how to say this. I know. If, if you're major complications yes. during labor or delivery, um, you definitely want to give it your full six weeks before you start doing any of this. Um, they're just simple, basic core exercises, basically just to wake your core up um, and just start building those muscles again. Um, just make sure you just talk to your provider before you start doing any of these. Okay, and with that, let's go ahead and everything is going to be for about 20 seconds to 40 seconds. Take these at your own time. Um, everything is going to be, Miranda did work out until she was almost nine months pregnant. So she still has a great deal of core, but yes. we're still gonna be pushing it here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start with some pelvic floor tilts. So laying flat. Miranda's going to put one hand underneath your low back and another hand on top of your belly. Now, you exhale and you push your belly button down. Now, what we're trying to do is she's going to hold it there. She's pushing her low back against her hand and you're really going to feel that ignite your core. Go ahead and relax. And again, go ahead and push down. We're going to do this for 40 seconds, just going through back and forth, holding it for about five seconds, releasing, coming back up. Now, one thing that you don't want to do, and Brad is going to keep doing those, you don't want to be squeezing your butt. These are not like squeeze your butt release. We're really trying to get those lower abdominals, and it might be hard for you to feel, but just keep pushing it. And that's why we have your hand underneath your little back, so you're pushing down each time. Also, one hand here on your belly, so you can feel yourself tilting each time. Little tiny movement. we got about 10 seconds left. Good, push down, hold it. And release. One more. Push down. Good job. Okay. We're going to come up. Now we're going to go into a side plank. So obviously modified. Do this at your own, that how you can. So we're going to start very modified. Knees are bent. Hip is coming off the ground as much as you can. Also, elbow is right underneath the shoulder. We're going to hold each side for 20 seconds. If 20 seconds is too much for you, start with 10 seconds. If you need to put your hip down in between, so go ahead and put your hip down. Rest for a second, bring it back up so you can get into that 20 seconds. But we're really focusing on these obliques here. Also, you're sucking that belly button in just like we did on the pelvic tilts. Okay, you're at that 20 seconds. Let's go ahead and flip you around and go to the other side. Again, your elbow is right underneath your shoulder. Knees are in line with your hips. Lifting here. And you may have one side that's stronger than the other. So maybe on one side you're able to hold it for 20 seconds. Maybe this side, it's going to be five second increments. Whatever you can do, push yourself, but you don't want to be uncomfortable. We're just getting back into it. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, last exercise of the day. We're going to come onto all fours. Her hands are right underneath her shoulders. Again, we're going to tuck that pelvis in, suck the belly button in, her back is flat. Now we're going to extend one leg out, one arm out. We're going to hold each side for 20 seconds. Now you'll see here, Miranda's back is nice and flat. We don't have your hip, your hip tilting up at all. She's got one arm out and we're just holding it there while her belly button, she's sucking in. And make sure that you breathe. Do not hold your breath. we got about five more seconds on this side. Three, two, one. One, good, slowly come back down. And let's bring the other leg up and this arm up, good. Now you're going to notice on one side, you're probably gonna try and tilt a little bit more. If you have a mirror, go ahead and put it so you can see yourself because one side's gonna be stronger than the other. So she's doing a great job, just holding it there. You got about three seconds, two, one, good. All right. You felt comfortable with right? Yes. <laughs> So another thing to remember that is whether you're six weeks postpartum or a year postpartum, these are great things to start doing. And Asha wants to yell at me now. Um, so go ahead and start incorporating these into your exercise routine because they are really going to help strengthen your core. If you have lower back pain, it's going to help with that too. Um, being a mom, you're carrying kids all the time. 
your hips can hurt and everything. Mine have with London. So definitely start incorporating these into your exercise routine. Okay. And we'll be back with more. Yes. Keep going. Postpartum journey from Miranda. Yes. Don't <laughs> forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and then comment below and let us know how you like these.